stop there to take a little photo and make my way on down a little further. Beautiful, beautiful area of uh, Beer Mountain over here. Got a chance to uh, watch. Got a chance to watch a video today by Bodine 52 in which uh, Bodine was doing a 5,000 mile review of his Harley Ultra and he's really happy with that bike too by the way it's a really nice video I'll put a link to it up here so you can go check that out uh, I was watching a video by Harley Day Rider he's also catching up on some of Randy ri Randy's rides videos, which I'll probably get to catch up on a few more of those over the uh, over the my two days off that I'm gonna have coming up. It's a Saturday, a lot of bikes out, <laughs> including me <laughs> and you, because you are riding with me. So just enjoying a nice cruise. We're gonna take you through. Beer Mountain over here. I'm not really sure what topic I may come up with, but we'll try and see what we can do. A lot of bicyclists out riding over here. This is a beautiful area to, to cycle too, you know. This year, I've kind of slacked with my cycling. Usually, uh, usually, I tend to like to cycle a lot more, but, uh, I don't know, last year I did a lot of cycling, man, this year, I, did, I just, I don't know, I couldn't, I couldn't fall into it. I got into a little rhythm of, uh, of going, oh shit, my easy pass. I need to pull over on the side here and put my easy pass on. Camera's on, but I almost forgot my easy pass, man. I got the winter jacket on now. I hated to put these little stickies on my windshield, but I get tired of having issues. I'm tired of having issues uh, merging. Man, there's a lot of people coming through here. I come to hold it up and it wouldn't work. It just got old. There we go. See that? Bada bing, bada boom. Cruise control, hold that. Ready? Put that back in there. Nice day to walk the bridge. wanted to walk the bridge. Beautiful day for it. Beautiful area. Got some boats out there as you can see. Really nice place. A lot of people just taking in the sights. If I was off today on a Saturday I think I definitely would probably do the same. Bring the kids down here. Park way out somewhere. So put on your walking, put on your walking shoes. We're going for a walk. Oh man. You could imagine how pissed off my daughters would be. A lot of people all the way through here, so you gotta, you know, you can't come zipping through like you probably might think you may want to. So. I used to bring you through here a lot on the Buell, but, uh, on a V-Star, I kind of, you know, I, I video through here so much that I figured I'd kind of give it a break and find somewhere else to video, you know, 
just I mean it's just easier and not being repetitive you know being repetitive isn't really fun so but yeah I figured I'd bring it through here today and we would use the Sony for the B cam, the GoPro for the main and chat about whatever it is that we are going to chat about. I do still have the Buell and I'm actually uh, I'm actually going to part it out. That's uh, as of right now what I'm looking to do is to part it out. Jeez, this guy in the Subaru was like really close to me. And like I said, I don't really fly through here because, you know, you've got cyclists and then you've got these guys that park here and now they hug the double yellow because they're parked there. So, like I said, you know, you, you got to be mindful of how and which way you're flying through here really don't want to fly through here right about now this is a sightseeing season so but anyway so yeah I still have the Buell and I'm gonna I'm gonna part it out I just think I'm just gonna start taking off all the important parts and selling them on eBay and uh, I mean I, I, I thought about it. I was like you know maybe I could just put it up for like 500 bucks on, on Facebook marketplace and see where that goes but uh, I don't know. I kind of feel I'd rather to part it out and go that way. You know. So, I figured I would do that. There's some there's some parts on there that I can sell and make a couple bucks, especially the front end. I've, got a lot of handling parts on the front end and I wouldn't mind trying to do another another project or something something else something naked no fairing no anything in front of me just naked still in the cruiser aspect so I do have my eyes open I am looking I wouldn't mind something a little different something to kind of have a little bit of fun on and I've been eyeing that I just got a, I just got a few things and run a house that need to be done, so I'm trying to get that done and kind of go from there. But it would be a different, it would be a different feel, like how this one has a bit of a different feel. I was thinking I don't want floorboards, I want foot pegs, um, a little bit more of a forward foot peg type setting, uh, especially great for cruising on those hot days where maybe I don't want a fared bike, but around now I, I, I would. You know, so I've been feeling that out and I'm getting there little by little. I'm getting there. I'm gonna choose something. I have a bike in mind, or a model, I should say. Still in the Yamaha family, but I have, I have, uh, I do have a bike in mind of something that I would want to do. Nothing crazy, not spending big buku bucks, uh, you know, not going, uh, wild or anything just you know just a different style bike put a couple little touches of my own on it and you know this is something that uh you know i've been eye mustering for for a while now and definitely something i wouldn't mind doing so something i'm taking into consideration i'm highly highly taking you know you know what this is something that it's like uh, for me I feel like it's a part of my soul man I mean like I'm passionate about it you know and it's like I, I know I know okay I know it is an expense and I and I, I I understand that it's an extra expense because you know that comes along with it but it's 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 something I'm passionate about you know and and a part of it that uh I really do enjoy and this is beautiful how about that I really do enjoy and something I, I, I 
feel I can appreciate. So, yeah, so that's that's where I'm at with that. Um, I just gotta pretty much uh, get rid of the Buell. So, and that I'll do. That won't take me. That's not anything that'll take me a long time or you know anything out of the ordinary to do. It's, I just got to take some of the parts off of it that have value and see if I can uh, find someone that is interested in, in purchasing them and go from there, which is fine. You know, there's always someone looking for parts and I, I do have an idea of where I can unload them. So I'll definitely do that. Anyway, guys, uh, this is the best one. I, I am going to dismount the cameras except for the GoPro and make my way on down to the city because it's not really very sightful after here. But I do thank you guys for following along. I thank you guys for watching and checking out the video. And, you know, I'm going to have a few more rides. I think maybe Tuesday I'm going to try and bring you guys down into the Harriman area over here and show you that area because uh i really there's some some beautiful roads through there i'd really like to like to show you so i'm gonna bring you down there and show you around and uh yeah so until next time i will see you guys later uh, you guys stay safe out there you ride safe please please ride safe um love your families and uh yeah, thank you for watching and thank you for coming. It's very much appreciated. Check out my Facebook, uh, www.facebook.com forward slash the best one A. The best one A, the best one A's rides. Yeah, check it out. All right, guys, I'll see you later. I'm gone.